today we're going to be reviewing and optimizing our goals. This is going to be part of a series, so if you haven't seen the first video on how to set up this tracker, pause this video, bop on over to that video, get your free download to get this template, so you can follow along, get that set up, and then come back here. Hey there, my name is Rochelle, I'm a certified pole fitness instructor with Stir University. So we've already set up our template and we've been using it for at least a week. Now it's time to check in with our progress. I like to look at the weekly habit tracker. It's satisfying to see your success in some areas and then in other areas, it's kind of eye-opening. If you didn't quite meet your goal, try not to be too hard on yourself. You've already taken the steps that most do not. You put your goal down on paper which doesn't seem like much, but essentially you're telling the universe like, this is happening. After we reviewed our progress for the week on the habit tracker, bop on over to where we set up our goals and our habits. So when we were initially setting up this page, we would have already filled out where it says, are there any side effects for meeting this goal? When you're reviewing, it's handy to also go over this section as well. You might have missed something the first time, and you might have come up with new ways to come over obstacles and come up with new solutions. After reviewing and optimizing the questions at the top of the page, head down to the questions at the bottom. These should have been left blank when we were setting up our tracker, but if you did fill it out, don't sweat it. Just grab a sheet of paper and keep making progress. Now we get to do a little self-interview. Did we meet our goal? Yes or no? How do you feel? What surprised you? Some days I feel like I didn't do enough, but when I look back at my tracker, it's physical proof that I did plenty. What habits or rituals are working? Where can you optimize? Enjoy your practice.